What does female empowerment mean to you? For me personally, female empowerment is choice. I also believe in equal opportunity in every aspect of life. But with choice and opportunity, you have to hold yourself accountable to find your inner strength and inner empowerment to follow your goals and dreams. This class is truly to help you find your inner flame, kindle that flame or grow it larger. I want you guys to feel so empowered after this practice. That's the goal and my intention for today. So before we start class, grab your block or bolster if you think you might need one, but also grab a pen and a piece of paper and write down one word that makes you feel strong. And then that's gonna be your intention for today. So let's get started, let's get right into it. Female empowerment. Just quickly writing down my own words. I wanted to do it. If you don't have a pen and paper, don't worry. Just keep those words in your head. And that's just for you. It's just for you. And we're gonna start off laying on our mat. So whether it's morning time or evening time or the afternoon, just know how you're feeling. You can take a side laying position or you can roll right onto your back. But wherever you are, I want you to face your palms towards the ceiling, towards the sky because those words that you've written down or those words that are in your mind, they will happen. But first we have to set the stage for acceptance. So open up those palms nice and big. Take three breaths with me. Breathe in, let it go. Breathe in and let it go. And manifesting right now, everything you want is attainable. We have to unlock the door first. And sometimes that's really hard to do because we self-sabotage we are our own worst critic. We're in our own way. How many times have you tried to go after something you want and you're in your own way, right? So clear that right now. This is your space to clear that. I allow myself to remove myself and really truly walk the path that I am on. Take one more breath in. Let it go. Ha. Now, if you're on your back like me, roll to your side. If you were on your side, just push yourself up. And now we're meeting in a seated position at the top of our mat. And I'll face you guys. Take your left hand to your belly and your right hand to your heart. Allow your elbows to drop by your side and just soften your eyes to one spot. Your vision is so important too. Wherever our eyes are landing, making sure we are so clear in the direction that we're going. So just for this moment, just for the next three breaths, getting super zoned in to the drishti. Our eyes see so clearly and we have no distractions. And at the exact same time you're focusing, working on that drishti, that laser vision, breathe into your body. Breathe into your shoulders, your back, your spine your hips. And then close those eyes, close your eyes, 
Send your gaze inward and bring to the forefront of your mind those keywords. One of my words was trust. I have to trust myself. Big breath in, let it go. And take your legs out for me as you place your hands by your sides. Just pedal out your feet, shake out your knees, maybe move your hips. We're gonna move the bones and our hip joints from side to side, warming up the hips just a little bit. Take your right foot in towards you, okay? And then take your right knee up Hug your hip in, hug that leg in. Okay, come up nice and tall, prowl through the chest, and then turn over to the right side, taking your hand out to support you to your fingertips and just gently twist. And if you want a little more, you can take your hand into a cactus arm and open up, keeping your shoulders lengthened apart, so nice and long. Breathe in, come up nice and tall. Exhale, come back to center. Awesome, drop that leg down. Sway your toes, your heels. And then let's do the other side. So take your foot off to the side. Come up nice and tall from your bra line or your heart center. Turn and rinse through your upper body. Look forward, awesome, take your feet down, shake it out in your legs, amazing. And we will now take our knees underneath us, let's walk back right into downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels. Breathe in, lift your heels high. Exhale your heels down. Breathe in, heels high, exhale, heels down. One more time, breathe in, heels high, exhale, heels down. So bring your big toes to touch, take your right foot to the sky, bend your knee and open up your hips nice and wide, creating a huge hip opener. Yeah, make little circles with your ankle and then drop your big toe down. And then swing your other foot up, open up the hips, drop that heel back down towards your bum. Stay for three, two, and one. Drop your feet, perfect. Eyes forward, walk your feet up towards the top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold forward. Now staying in your forward fold for me, bring your feet hip width apart. Just make sure your toes are in line with your knees, knees in line with your hips. And fold forward a little bit more. If you want to take your peace fingers to your big toes, you can do that too. And then shake out your head a lot. Mm, deep breath in. Side out. <sighs> All right. Take your hands to your hips. We're going to let the blood rush down through our head, through our veins, down into our body. And then I want you guys to do one more forward fold. Open your feet a little bit wired, wider. Hands go back, heart open, bend in the knees, and fold forward over your body. Woo. Massaging out your shoulders, massaging out your head. Breathe in. Let it go. Breathe in. And drop your hands down to your mat. Perfect. Feet together now. Again, slowly coming up. Take your time like a blooming flower 
All good things take time. And reach up towards the ceiling. Up through the ceiling, through the roof, to the sky, up into the stars. Your highest calling. And take your hands down towards your heart center. Breathe in. Let it go. Breathe in. And let it go. Set your intention wherever you're at. How can we empower ourselves? And how can we empower others? If you are here, you are a light. Reach up, arms up, feet together. Fold forward right where you are. Halfway lift, hands to your mat, step back into a high plank. Option in your high plank is to always take your knees down, okay? Come down nice and low. Push through upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Feet hip width apart, breathe in heels high, exhale your heels down. Breathe in, heels high. Exhale, your heels down. Bring your big toes to touch. Reach your right foot up to the sky. Take your right knee in towards your right elbow and then swing that foot back up. Right knee to your left elbow. Swing your foot back up. Then take your knee into your chest, step your foot down, reach up, crescent lunge. Arms by your sides, puff your heart, chest, come up nice and tall, and then fold forward over your front thigh. Reaching forward, and then reaching back. Breathing in, exhale. Now we're gonna add our knee. Reach forward, knee stays bent, and then exhale, come up and straighten that front leg. Come down, reach forward, exhale, sweep back. Stay in the balance, reach forward, exhale. Two more, breathe in, exhale, last one. Perfect, come back, warrior two. So holding your warrior two position, melt the shoulders back, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, go back. So find your reverse warrior here in your body. Okay, I have my hand balanced on my leg, but you can also take your hand to your low back. Gently come back up, neutral spine, arms forward, reach forward, extended side angle. I'll face you guys while I do this with you. Press into your front foot a lot, open up your heart. So right here where your sternum bone is, where your heart center is, this is what we want to pivot up towards the sky. And we do that with breath, breathing in. Exhale, rinse. Breathing in. Exhale, open up the heart. Last one, breathe in. Beautiful. Come up, warrior two. Take a breath in. And sweep your arms down to the floor. You guys are facing the front of your mat. I'll meet you guys there. High plank to low plank, upward dog, downward facing dog. Ah, whew, that was fun. <laughs> A lot comes up when we start moving. I'm not strong enough. I'm not going to finish, right? There's a whole bunch of things. There's a whole narrative that we have to work through. 
We have to get through that because again, we're in our own way. Take your feet to touch, left foot up. Send your left knee into your left elbow. Sweep your foot up. Right elbow. Swing your foot up. Take your knee in towards your belly and then step right down on the floor. Sweep your arms up, crescent lunge, this back knee is lifted or you can take it down to the floor. Okay, totally up to you. I'm gonna keep the fire going. I'm just like kindling my flame here, warming up. I know I've got things to do today. But right now I'm here working on me. Come forward, hinge forward in the hips. Sweep your arm back. And then sweep your arms forward. Sweep your arms back. Sweep your arms forward. Again, back. This time we're going to add the knee. So staying low into your lunge as your arms are forward. And then coming up. And then back down. Up. And back down. Three more, breathe in, exhale. So reversing the breath, breathing in, and then go down on the exhale. In, exhale down, perfect. Stay here, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then pop right up, warrior two. Right away, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, and come back, reach forward, extended side angle. You're on the other side now. So noticing how you feel. Find something that just feels really good for you and your body. Tuck your tailbone underneath your hips. Eyes up, heart open to the sky. We're really vulnerable here. Right? Whenever we're cracking open our heart and our throat, there's this energy. What are you not saying? What are you not feeling? One more breath in. Come back, warrior two. Breathe in together. And then find those hands to the ground. Step that foot back. High plank to low. Up dog, child's pose. Open up the knees nice and wide. Sit into your heels and come nice and low, and then place your forehead down to your mat. Seal your lips, breathe in and out through your nose. It's okay to feel you are alive, you will feel. And come up just a little bit onto your elbows. Take your right hand, scoop it underneath your left armpit and open up for another little twist here through your spine. And I come out of my hips. I just like to give myself lots of space, but if you want to sit right back down into your child's pose, you can do that too. Just be mindful. Do what feels good for you. It's all we want to do. Okay, use your top hand to help yourself back up. Come back to child's pose. A little lifted through the chest and then get right underneath. Lay into your other arm and twist into the other side. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Release, back to child's pose. Come up, tabletop. Let's go into a side plank. Because what is more powerful than a side plank? I don't know, I love it. Planks are hard, side planks are hard too, but they're like super powerful. Because you can do it any way. Knee down is amazing, okay? Or take both feet, you can stagger them, or stack your feet. Yeah, amazing. Hug your belly in, lift those hips up, eyes to the sky, 
Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Don't go anywhere just yet. Take this top leg, bend your knee, place your foot down. Lift those hips up for wild thing. Reach your hand forward. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, come down to your bum. Turn towards the top of your mat. Hands to your thighs, roll the shoulders back. Just relaxing those shoulders, resetting in the hips. Take a breath in and let it go. Let's get right back into it, other side. High plank or table, whatever you guys want. I'm gonna face the other way so you guys don't see my back the whole time. So I'm in my modified side plank or full. Slight bend in the elbow if you need it, okay? This time around, maybe try to lift your top leg. Oh. All right, eyes to the sky. Set your eyes to one spot. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Bend the knee, place that top foot down. Hips go up, wild thing. Drop your head, reach, reach, reach. Five, four, three, two, one. And sit your bum down. Oh, relax, facing the front of your mat. Let's all turn, making sure we meet right just here. And place your big toes to touch, heels to touch, legs open wide like a book and we fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold a little more. And come up, take your feet down, okay, hands behind your back, reverse table, reaching up your hips, and come down. Swing your feet behind you, we're going to move into downward dog, one more time, down dog. Pedal out your heels, reset. Okay, walk your feet halfway up your mat and then let your hands come up nice and slow. We're gonna do a balancing sequence, okay? It goes eagle, airplane, half moon. We do it on each side, right? Right foot comes up, sit into your chair, okay? Hug your belly in. So imagine interlacing your low ribs, coming into your center line, taking your right hand, scoop it underneath. You are in eagle pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly start to sleep your eagle. Elbows come in towards your belly. Okay, and then we're going to unravel everything and send it back for airplane. Pin your shoulders back, keep your back foot lifted. Option to stay here, but I did say we're gonna to try to do half moon today. So take your hands to your heart center and take your left hand down to the floor and right hand up towards the sky. Half moon, hold it for five, four, three, two, and release. Whoo, pedal out. Come all the way up. You can do this. <laughs> you can literally do anything, all right? We got this. We know what to expect on the other side, so we're just going to go right into it. Flow into it, use your breath. Other side, left foot's going to come over, crossing your legs. You can see I'm facing this way now. You can see my hips. If my bum is up, I'm tucking the hips. Left hand scoops underneath my right. Okay, I'm trying to find that strong back, proud chest, 
Send your elbows up, shoulders down, and then gently round your back, sending your elbows into your belly. Sleeping Eagle. And then open up to airplane. Take your time. Back foot's flex, shoulders are back. Okay. Stay here or hands to your heart center to help you guide yourself open. Left hand is up. Half moon. It's not supposed to be pretty. Maybe that's the point. Life is not supposed to be pretty. It's supposed to be messy. And we learn that so late in life. Take one more breath and release. Okay, come down to your bum and take your feet out. Give them a little shake. Amazing, guys. Hands out in front of you. Gently roll all the way back. Take your feet underneath your knees. Knees are up. Take your hips up and then tuck your shoulders underneath your chest. Okay? And I like to interlace my hands. Breathing through your bridge pose. Three breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Take your hips down, sway your knees from side to side. Amazing. Take your knees into your chest, catch the outsides of your feet, open up your knees nice and wide. When your toes turn outward, so will your knees and your hips. So just holding your feet where they are, sending your tailbone down, happy baby. Very vulnerable pose, wherever you're at. We're exposing our hearts, our hips. And trust, right? Trust yourself first. Hold here, three more breaths. Release your feet inward. Sway your knees from side to side. Take your right knee over your left and then drop your legs over to the left. And then reach your right arm out. Supine twist, nice massage through the low back. And let this shoulder, your right shoulder, just feel super heavy. Come all the way up. Take both feet down. Sway out your knees. And we're going to take our feet back up. Now this time take your left leg over your right. Just crossing your legs. Oh, pretty woman. Pretty woman. Walking down the street. I don't know why that just came to me. But it did. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, bring your feet back up, knees up, sway your knees from side to side. Amazing. Hug your knees into your chest. Lift up your head and kiss your right knee, kiss your left knee. Give yourself so much love. You did it. We unlock that door. We are showing up for ourselves. Now let's meet right where we've started. Savasana. Drop your legs and arms. Palms stay. 
up to the sky. And give yourself the next five minutes to do absolutely nothing. Stay where you are, keep breathing. And breathe in, open your mouth, sigh. And just knowing right now that you truly do have everything you need, there isn't anything more and there isn't anywhere to go. The best advice I got when I was younger was you don't need to travel to find yourself. And I took that pretty seriously because I loved to travel. And I felt like I grew so much in my journey. But I realized I can do that growth. I can find that empowerment right here where I am. Just surround yourself with friends and people who want the absolute best for you. And tell every single person what you are up to. Don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Banish fear. Get out of your own way. Trust that what you're doing matters and you're gonna do it. That is true empowerment. Speak up for yourself, work hard for yourself and surround yourself with people who lift you up as well. You can stay where you are in your Savasana, please do. I will end this video for us, but you are welcome to hang out and end your day or begin your day however you need to. I acknowledge you for showing up with me in this space. Acknowledge yourself for showing up in this space and know that deep down you have that fire and you are a badass. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. If you like this video, please like, comment, share. I really do appreciate it. It allows me to teach the, the practice that I love so much. And of course, send me a message if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe as well. Have a great day, guys.